Hey guys, it's Sam from Smoky Mountain Rides. Um, I had originally done this video prior to my trip to the Devil's Triangle today. However, after the ride, I thought it might be slightly more appropriate to do the video now. Um, so the first thing you're gonna notice is I did take the windshield off. And the primary reason for that is um, where the GoPro sat on my helmet, the line of sight was right between the windshield and uh, the windshield extender. So it was a really crappy view. So I did take that off for the ride. And I forgot how sick these bikes look without windshields. I'm a windshield guy, but I'm really digging this look. It looks awesome. And that headlight looks so big. It's amazing how much is hidden behind the windshield. But it looks super cool. Um, I've been riding cruisers for like 20 years. And I don't know why I was always under the impression if you rode a bike without a windshield. Um, that you'd get blown around and be uncomfortable all that kind of stuff but i didn't experience it at all it was a really nice ride like 80 degrees buttery smooth it was really really pretty good um so let's see so today i went to the devil's triangle now i don't know if you're familiar with the triangle but on the bottom is route 62 and then it turns into then when you start to go up on one side it's 116 and then it's 330 down to the bottom again um if you kind of know the area, it's more of a four-sided triangle. It's not like a true triangle. There's one portion at the beginning heading out to like Wartburg, Tennessee on 62 there that I didn't record because it's really kind of boring. It's just like a, a two-lane, barely any curves and really not much to look at. So I did edit that part off. Um, I started um, the video right as you turn on to go towards Petros on 116. So I went to the top of the triangle took a break up there, you know, had a sandwich, packed a drink, and then I headed down 330, and then I kind of curved back in on one of the third sides of the bottom, and you'll see that in the video. Um, but it turned out to be a really nice, nice day for a ride. Now, it did rain. Uh, started to sprinkle a little bit on my way up there. I was glad it didn't start pouring because I would have canceled it. I just didn't want to get soaked today. Uh, but it did stop raining, and it worked good. Um, now, guys, when you're watching the video... You know, it wasn't a time run. It wasn't, you know, let's see how fast I can go through this thing. Um, there was debris all over the road, leaves, uh, a lot of gravel, puddles, cars. It was just, uh, you know, the conditions weren't 100%. But I think the overall ride was pretty good. And I just wanted to get, get give you guys an idea what it looks like and do it relatively responsibly. So, um, like I said, I think, it, I think it turned out all right. Um... I appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the new subscriptions. Uh, stay tuned if you like this kind of thing. And uh, if you see anything on the ride you have any questions about, um, if you really want me to do the entire triangle next time, ride around that one little piece you may have missed, I can do that for you too, maybe next time out. But just let me know in the comments. Guys, I appreciate you. Enjoy the video.